Well, team, we have another game on the horizon. Oh, on Thursday, we have Rangers against Aussie Sheik, Aussie X, sorry, and on Sun, it's Sunday, I believe it is. We have the first Premiership game of the season with Aberdeen. But I'm going to leave that Aberdeen one to I know up to midweek. Today I want to talk about NK Ossishek and Rain the Thursday game between Rangers and Ossishek at Ibrox. Um, it was a very, very good game over in Croatia. Could have been goals from both sides of the, both teams, which initially I thought was going to be, like I said, I thought it was going to be 2 1. But I did say eventually, no, we're not going to draw, we're going to win it. So basically, I don't know why I took my own trumpet, but I, I, I would say I'm half right. I got the result right, saying Rangers going to win it. But I got the result, but the but I got the score wrong. I said two one, but it was one 0 But I'm half right. I'll take it. Um, I think it's going to be a tougher game this one because if we saw for the result for Cro for NK Osijek and the uh, hard jock split. In the Croatian league, Osijek basically humbled them 4 1. And Hadjuk split Osijek, I think, in the top, the, in the top Croatian league. It just shows how good Osijek actually are. It shows, it basically, and also shows how, def how defensively solid we were. But not only that, but as I, just, as I just said, it just shows how good. Osijek really are. We are actually playing a top team in Croatia. And you've got folk around what like Celtic fans and all that saying, oh Osijek's a crap team. It's an easy draw for Rangers. Last night just proved no it isn't he. Osijek are one of the top teams in Croatia. They're 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 no mugs, they really aren't. <clears throat> I think well it's the thing start line it will change. I think there'll be I think there'll be changes. I think it'll be McGregor and goal. I think the back four will remain the same. I think it'll be Tavernier at right back, two centre mid centre backs, uh, Katic and Goldson, um, and John Flanagan at left back. But if there's one change I think Gerard should make for Angels is this change the captain. Make Conor Goldson the captain. Because it's pretty obvious he's the most vocal one in that back line, as well as McGregor in goals. <clears throat> so I McGregor and goals back four of Tavernier, Katic, Goldson and Flanagan. Midfield, I think I think the midfield defend the, def the defensive two remain the same. I think it'll be Ryan Jack and Lasano Kulabali. Hopefully pulls off another topper of a tackle in this game coming up. Um, attacking mid, I don't think we should be playing over Ajaria because if anything, I think. I think uh, the game over in Croatia, I think that proved that he is genuinely more of an impact sub, if anything. So I think take Ajaria out and put in a Scott TV Greg Doherty this time. Ajaria is. The game against Croatia just proved that Ajaria is an impact sub. So I would, I would genuinely give Greg Doherty a game. I'm starting to get annoyed with it now. He needs a game. And front three. I would put Ryan Kent out left. I take Jimmy Murphy. I put Ryan Kent out left. Daniel Kandias out right, and um, do I play Morelos or Sadiq? I play Morelos because he is going to get the form. I've got to say he is going to get the form. Um, I can't say take him off because he's got two, he's got two and two. He has been he's he is really starting to prove me wrong. I want to say prove me wrong, but he's started to shut me up. Two goals in two games. One for OCA, one for Croatia, and one at uh, Ibrox yesterday against uh, Wigan. He's starting to really prove me wrong, that boy. He really is. He's, I, I'm, I'm saying that again. He's no proving me wrong, he's shutting me up. That's better. Um, but I'll go through the lineup one more time. Al McGregor, James Tavernier, Nikola Katic, Conor Goldson. John Flanagan, Ryan Jack, Lasana Kulabali, Greg Doherty, Ryan Kent, 
Tenho que ainda esse. And Alfredo Morelos. Maybe only th obviously three changes from that OC8 game needs to be made. As I said, Ajaria, not a starter, but an impact sub, an impact player. What do I think the score will be? We're at home, but OC8 only have changed. I think it'll be Rangers 2. Actually, I'm, 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 I'm going to change it. I'm not going to say two. I'm going to say Rangers three, three. Sorry, Osiek one. I think Osiek will get a goal here. Um, I think it'll be Katic to score a header because yes, you just you just see you can just tell how much he's loving life for Rangers. You really can. I think it'll be Katic to score a header. Morelos to score another to score th for three and three. And Lasana, I'm gonna go. I want, I want to see Lasana Kulabali get a goal. Cause I'm, the way he's playing, I'm desperate to see Kulabali finally get a goal. So my three goal scorers: Nikola Katic, Lasana Kulabali, Alfredo Morelos. Uh, I'm not gonna take long in this video. It's gonna start heating. It's pretty soon. It's gonna start heating up in the Europa League. Obviously, we have the crucial away goal from Croatia, so obviously we have got the advantage. It could have been two. If it was two, I'd say it would have been game over. We wouldn't have through anyway. We wouldn't have through the next round because they've got two away goals to come back for. But they've got one, so it's pretty much easier for them. But nevertheless, we've still got that away goal. We've still got that advantage. But I will say this. <coughs> if, Rangers can if Rangers can just... Don't just destroy their attack, and obviously, as we know, they're poor defense. They're okay. They're actually they're better. They're okay defense, but they're better than I said they were going to be. Surprisingly, they're actually not bad. Uh, but I, them coming to Ibrox, it's going to be a completely different story. If if they are poor defending, takes over today. Takes over today. Takes over on Thursday. Something's wrong with me. Um. If it does, if it's, if the poor defending does take over on Thursday, then I can see Rangers dominating attack and dominating the midfield. And if I, I think if that does happen, then Rangers will come away with an extremely comfortable win. And I do believe that things will be interesting for the Glasgow Rangers in the upcoming Europa League campaign. <laughs>